All right, guys, so now we're going to be doing the HDR peak brightness test for the Sony A90J. So smack a like on this video. We're going to get to the point right now. I'm using the Spears and Munsell UHD benchmark disc. We're going to go to Windows. We're going to go to the top peak versus size. That's the one we want. And we're going to begin with a 2% window stimulus, but I don't want to select it just yet. So I'm going to go back one and that's going to lower the window stimulus to a 1% because I really want to catch the peak for 2%. And then we're just going to let the color meter go and our Kalman software here. For 1%, you see we're at 943. But now we're going to go to the 2%. Now I want to catch that peak. It's at the same. It's basically the exact same. 929. 925 922 now it's actually dropping downward not upward so it's kind of the reverse of what i was seeing in uh hdr for a brief second there and now it's slowly going up as you guys can see now we're at 919 it's like the longer you sit on the highlight you can get the brightness to go up but and i'm sorry to tell you i'm not going to sit here and let it go all the way up to see what it can climb up to because there is zero content that's real world that will let you ramp up a peak highlight. So I'll say that it'll keep going up, but for how long, I don't know. So I'll say it's over 930 nits comfortably, right? That's what you can expect. Let's go back down to the 1% window. See what that hits. Waiting for the color meter to pick up on that. 898, so you see what I mean? Let's go back to the 2%. Now it's at 916. So I think that's your actual peak. I think when you go back to the the 2%, that's what you're actually looking at, like a 916 on that window. Uh, not 1300 nits. I honestly couldn't tell you where they got those numbers, n those numbers from, but I'm testing it myself now and I don't have anything quite that high. We'll hopefully see numbers like that past the 2% window. So we're going to go to the 5% window stimulus. Okay, now we're on 5%. Look at what this says. There it is. You saw that peak? That was nice. It was like 1342. Finally saw that number. I was disappointed for a second. I'm not going to lie. I was like, oh, come on, show me the peak. All right, so we're going to go back to one window to go forward to catch the peak again. And it didn't do the peak again this time around. It went down to the 9 something. But we did for a split second. And I mean... That was almost instantaneous, as you guys saw. I'm so glad I had the camera trained on that because it was 1342 or something like that. You can rewind the video and pause. And uh, that's on the 5% window stimulus. So we finally got that 1300 nit hit. It was really fast, though, guys. That You could hardly call that a peak. That's more like a split-second pop. And then you get back down into the 900s. Now we're at 950, and, and now we drop down to 946. So... Yeah, that's what I'll say you're at for a 5%, or rather a, yeah, we were on the 5% window stimulus. So next up, we're going to go to the 25% window stimulus. All right. And our peak is 697 at first. Let's see what it does. It's waiting to read it. 698, right? That's where it is. 25% window stimulus. Just kind of hanging out. 699 so the longer you wait again it's going up which is good but again in real content it's just gonna pop that highlight and take off so you can get over 700 nits I'd imagine if you have something that's static but again you don't want to do that on OLED anyway so I'm just gonna call it in the 600s all right so now then we're gonna go forward into the 50% or the 70% window stimulus let's just go back and make sure we're doing it right I was at the 25% window stimulus, if I'm not mistaken, before. So we're going to go to the 50% window stimulus next. We're going to hit 50. And in the 50% window stimulus, our peak is 414 at first. Then it goes up to 432. It's holding that pretty consistently. So I'll say that's where we're going to call it at 432. Now we're dropping, dropping, dropping. So yeah, 432 is what you have for a 50% window stimulus. Okay, now we're going to go back. And we're going to go down to the 
100% window stimulus, and then for shits and giggles, I'll go back to the 75%, just because, like, why not, right? All right, so here we are at 210 on a peak, and it's holding 209. So I'll say it's comfortably holding 209. So I'll say 209 nits on a full screen white. There you see it right there. It just dropped to 208 before I shift it up to show you guys. Full screen, nobody moving it. 208, that's where it is. So 209, 208, that's where it holds pretty comfortably and it'll fall slowly after that. That's really damn good because, you know, typically OLED struggle really hard to maintain, you know, even 150 nits, 180 nits. So to see it upwards of 210 on a full screen, that's not bad at all. It definitely speaks to their their claim that ABL has been greatly reduced. It's definitely reduced by 100 or so nits. It's not bad. I mean, maybe I'm getting the math wrong on that. I'm not a math whiz that can do it in a second like that, but it's still, it's a pretty good increase. So I would say that's not a bad thing at all. Now we're going to go back to the 75% window stimulus as promised. So then we see a peak into just 751 from there. It's not really that impressive on a 75% window. So then I think we saw the biggest number though on what what window was that? I can't remember off the top of my head to be honest. I just did it and I already forgot. I think it was like the 10% window or something like that. Let's see. Let's see which one gave us the 1300. Any day you want to read it. We'll go back a few windows. Cuz I I really I like really want to find what window stimulus that was that did that cuz that was seriously cool. We, but it was like a split second though. So let's see. Uh, let's go to the 10% window again. And 1266, 1288, 1247. You see how fast it falls off though? It's definitely that window right there. What is that? That's the 10% or 25? I think that's the 10% window that we're dealing with that gets that bright. But I mean, you'd have to catch it right as it hits. Cause it drops so quickly, like I'll, I'll and, and and you'll only get that absolute peak when your colorimeter is going, as it's going right now, and then you go into your window stimulus, and then it'll briefly catch it, but it, it didn't catch it this time around. So you know what I mean? It falls. I think I hit the twenty five percent actually. That was my bad. But like it falls too quick, man. Like yeah, it can technically hit twelve, thirteen hundred nits, but that's not. That's not normal on this TV at all. Like nine something. I mean, I'm trying to reset this window as many times as I can to try to replicate that that number. And it's difficult to do. Like, very difficult to do. A thousand. I mean, you can get peaks like that, but it's not it's not consistent at all. So yeah, to call this a 1300 nit TV is misinformation at this point. Because when testing it with the most aggressive window that had the most potential to throw out the most highlight, I just, I don't see it. I'll try a 5% window, maybe a smaller highlight will maybe give us that throw. 1100, you know what I mean? It's not 1300. Even still though, this is the best OLED has ever done, so we have to give credit where credit is due though. You know, you hit those high highlights and then you come back down, so, you know, I, I would say really this is like a... 950 plus nit to a thousand nit OLED. That's where I would call it. Cause I say comfortably it can hold this number very comfortably, the 1000 nits, but it's damn sure not holding 1300 at all. But nine, the hot 900s, it can do that all day, every day. Now, to be honest, I am in the coolest color temperature and I'll show you like all this stuff right now. Okay, so we're in vivid mode for anybody wondering. Now we're in HDR, so things have changed. So when you were seeing those 1000 nit claims, they were coming out of HDR. So this is something to keep in mind. I mean, how often are you watching HDR content? That's up to you. But we are in vivid mode. We don't have any light sensor stuff on, as you see uh, down here. Light sensor is off. We didn't turn any of that stuff on under our brightness. We've got everything maxed out. We're in preferred brightness, not preferred gradient, because that will lower the peak brightness. And we are maxing out our contrast and our peak luminance so everything we're doing oh yeah and i've got to show you guys the color temperature 
set as well to the coolest color temperature to draw out the most peak brightness. So literally there is nothing more I possibly could have done to give this TV its best chance. And again, on a 5% window stimulus or whatever window we're on right now currently, this is what you're rocking at. I mean, it holds 900 very well, 950 very well, but it's not holding 1,000 nits, 1,300 nits, and I wanted to bring you that information. Just so you know, like if you're going into it expecting that, don't, because it's not going to be doing that consistently. I got it like one time, 1342 I think is what it was, popped off, you guys saw it like immediately. Then when I tried to replicate it, the highest I could get was like 1200. So it's not a consistent thing at all. You've really, really got to time that highlight right. And even then, I mean, like you're, you're at the 1100 nit range, like at its best on average, 1112, whatever, you know? So hopefully this helped you guys out. This is the peak brightness of the Sony A90J. Thanks for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later.